touch the bison. Do not look the bison in the eyes. Do not try to feed the bison. I mean... <laughs> My name is John Grinnell. I'm an associate professor and the Francis Euler Chair in Biology at Gustavus Adolphus College. We are out in South Dakota now at the Samuel H. Ordway Prairie Reserve, which is run by the Nature Conservancy. And our work happens here because this is where the bison are. So what I do with Sam <clears throat> is I train him and others to work on the bison behavior and conservation project that has been going here for a number of years. And the last few days we've been bouncing around the truck in the prairie looking for and identifying the bulls and the cows to try to understand who is who so that we can keep track of what's happening within the herd to answer some of the questions that we have about it. It's always beneficial for the students and for me to get students away from class, you know, away from campus. I love taking students out into the field because it's a way for them to see science and uh, research come to life and have reinforced some of the things that they might encounter in the classrooms. You know, a lot of what I teach in animal behavior, my class is reflected here as well in the behavior of the bison and the other animals that we see out here. So it's a great way to get some hands-on experience doing the work that can lead to discovery, doing the work that can inform students as to what they might like to do with their lives. Um, a large part of you know, vocational discernment is really figuring out what you do like and what you don't like. And if wildlife research appeals to students, this is a great stepping stone for that. So I love giving students that opportunity for that discernment and to get some experience to help them with the next step if this is something that they love. There are so many great challenges of our time. <laughs> The one that this one ties into is really the challenge of conservation. We have eight billion, some almost eight billion people on Earth now. Back when there were probably tens of millions of bison roaming this whole area, there was probably less than one billion humans on the planet. In the time since the numbers have flip-flopped, you're probably aware that you know, in the late 1800s, bison were driven almost extinct, probably down to just a few hundred individuals left. And all of the landscape that they took has basically been converted into agricultural and other uses here. Which is not necessarily a bad thing because we kind of need that to support us as well. But it means that most bison now are animals without a home. So we need to know how bison can be bison in a limited space. So that's really what this project is about, is trying to figure out how to keep bison wild when we don't let them roam wherever they want to. My name is Sam Hoynish. Um, I am a junior at Gustavus Adolphus College and I am a environmental studies and a life sciences major. And I'm someone that really likes to, you know, go outside and see the world that's kind of untouched and uninfluenced by people. And 
I mean, I'd really like to, you know, in the future work towards, you know, keeping the world like a, a more beautiful place to admire. But I know that, you know, just admiring it isn't quite enough. You actually have to, you know, work towards making, you know, the world a better place. You know, there's a whole lot that you can actually, you know, learn from. Especially in a setting like this, like, yeah, the, the main focal point of the research is to, you know, go out to the bison and take notes on them, but it's just a little bit more than that. You get to actually, you know, develop a little bit of a sense of compassion for some of these animals and, you know, actually get a good idea of how, you know, they behave around one another. And... Like I said, I'm going into life sciences, which is pretty broad, and something like this, I'd say, is a really good first step. You know, make the world a little bit more of a better and more beautiful place.